Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to activate the Go Market feature for working orders in CQG Desktop. Now, as of mid-December 2018, this is the newest feature that has been added to CQG Desktop. And unfortunately, it is not activated by default, so you'll need to go into your preferences and activate it. So for that reason, we figured we'd make a quick tutorial to show you how to activate it. And once it is activated, how to access this feature and how to utilize it. So to activate the go market for working orders, simply head over to preferences in the bottom left hand corner of the platform window and give this button a left click. Now, once you have the preferences window open, scroll down just a bit underneath the trading and symbol settings field. And you'll see right smack dab in the middle, the allow go market feature, left click this feature and then enable it by left clicking the white button in the top right hand corner. Once you see a blue check mark that represents that the feature is now activated and it can be accessed within the platform. So now you'll particularly find this feature associated with the orders widget on this platform and more specifically for working orders. So let's open up a new window and get a bit organized here. So first I'll open up a dome for the E-mini S&P 500 contract. And I'll also open up a working order widget. There's really no difference between orders and working orders other than the fact that the working orders widget just focuses in, focuses on working orders while your regular orders widget will show any orders in general. So whether those have been canceled or filled or not. But like I said, this feature is extremely focused on working orders only. So if you do try and potentially do this for a filled position, it will not work. Once again, this is only for working orders. So let's scroll way below the market price so we can place an order that does not get filled. So I'll be placing a limit at 2541.00 and we'll place it as a limit order. So now as you can see on the right hand side here, we do have a working order and it, we have it as a buy. Now let's say for whatever reason, if we were trading live and in an instant, I needed to have this order be placed as a market order on the fly, I could potentially do so using this feature. If we click the little order actions drop down menu here, you'll now notice that with it activated, we have the feature go market. So once again, this will essentially just transform our order into a market order rather than a limit and it'll fill it at the best available price. So if we left click go market, we will get a confirmation that this changes our order. And if we left click go market, as you can see, our order was now transformed into a market order based off our fill report and we were filled at the best available price. So now if we do open up a regular orders tab here or positions, as you can see, we now have a filled position on 1219, which is today's date at 2571. So as you can see, our limit order was once we clicked on our feature here, the go market feature automatically transformed and filled at the best available market price. Again, there's numerous situations in which you may need to activate and access this feature, but by default, it's not activated. So you may not particularly notice that this feature has been added. Again, this was just a quick tutorial to show you how to activate and access the feature in the newest CQG desktop update. Thanks for watching. If this video helped, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you have any further questions, don't hesitate to give us a call or send us an email. 
follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more informative content related to the futures market.